What's up guys, Champ here, bringing you another one of my huge supply drop videos. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to be my biggest one yet. Look at all this stuff I have to get rid of right now. I got one goal in mind and one goal only. We're here to get weapons. I got two bribes. I got a bundle. I'm going to do the packages for the day. Right there, you'll see that I'm 77 out of 125 for my Grand Slam. So I'm pretty close to getting that. And now we're going to do another huge supply drop video in about a week. Because we have one goal in mind, like I said. I'm out to get weapons. There's tons of new weapons that came out in this game. And I need to get me some of those. Because other people are killing me a lot with those guns. So I need to get them so I can compete with these guys. And start dropping some nuclears with some new guns. So I can get some different videos on my channel for you guys. If you guys saw my recent video, I got a nuclear with the XMC DLC gun, what I think to be the best SMG in the game right now. Maybe the best DLC gun in the game, at least from the ones that I got my hands on. So really, after I got that gameplay, I got the Brutal, Mr. Cod got the nuclear. But I came close, and I don't even get to use that gun, you know what I mean? That was like my third or fourth time using that gun. So I know if I get my hands on that gun, I'm going to start dropping nuclears left and right with that gun. Everybody's using that gun. It seems to be the big scheme in the game right now. So I need to get my hands on it, bottom line. So this is what really struck me. And I was like, you know what? I got 9,000 crypto keys, 9,500. I'm actually going to show you guys a little close up of how many crypto keys I got in a second. It's tons of crypto keys, and I didn't buy any of them. I don't buy anything in this game. I bought the game. I play the game, you get the keys. That's how it works. Some people don't like to play the game and just buy the keys. I don't even understand because if you don't play the game, what do you need the guns for anyways? You know what I mean? You're just buying guns to let them sit there in your video game. You're paying real money for fake things that you don't even use. That doesn't make no sense to me. You get plenty of keys in this game as long as you earn them. And look at that right there. They're coming in handy. I got myself the KVK. Or yeah, KVK-99. That's the gun I was looking for, actually. From what I hear, this is one of the best assault rifles in the game now, so I'm very happy to have picked up that weapon right there. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, I get 10 weapons in this supply drop. This supply drop is no joke. I'm going to get tons of weapons in this. And that was one of the main ones that I was looking for right there, so I'm very happy. Right off the bat, I didn't even use my bribe yet. I still got two weapon bribes. I got a bundle. And like I said, I got 9,500 crypto keys to use. So there's plenty of guns left to get in this supply drop opening. I'm actually going to skip some of the boring parts because the supply drop was so big. I used so many crypto keys trying to go after these guns that I couldn't fit it in under 15 minutes. And, and I made it about 13 minutes anyways just because who wants to talk for 13 minutes, 15 minutes in the supply drop video. But there we go with my third, was that my second or third? That's my second weapon that I got so far and that's the ballistic knife. Not a bad weapon, not a good weapon. I'm never going to use it. It's the same as all the other melee weapons that just sit in my pile. I might have had that one already. I'm not exactly positive. Some of these melee weapons that I do pick up might have been duplicates, but I do pick up some really nice guns that I'm actually going to start using. And I'm using my weapon bribe right here, my ranged weapon bribe. So for my ranged weapon bribe, I get a handgun. Doesn't seem like much range there. Little bit of range, I guess. I was really hoping for a submachine gun or, you know, assault rifle. Maybe the PPSH, I was really hoping for that, to tell you the truth. Or the XMC, because that's what I wanted most of all. The Raven's Eye for my melee weapon, that's what I got for my bribe right there. Not much to be expected there. Any of the melee weapons would have all been the same for me. So right now I'm going to go through my uh, stats here. I'm going to show you guys where I stand overall. Because I just want to give you a little outlook of how I was able to earn all these crypto keys. I'm 27th in the world in this game. Which is not even an accurate statement. If you scroll up, which I'm going to do right here. You'll see that there's a bunch of cheaters lined up before me. If you look at their score per minute. I mean some of these guys got like a 5,000 score per minute. 10,000 score per minute this guy right here has got a 70,000 score per minute pretty good man you're you're putting in work he's only ranked 11th but yeah he's number one in the world so I kind of counted it down and got rid of all the people that are cheating and got to the point where I realized that I'm probably around number 13th in the world give or take 
Uh, it's, it's hard to tell. Some of these people with a thousand score per minute, it's hard to believe that they get a thousand score per minute. So that's why I was able to earn 9,550 crypto keys. Because I play this game a lot, obviously. You play this game as much as me, you're going to get crypto keys. You're not going to have to buy anything. So I just want to give you guys a little insight of how I was able to get all those crypto keys in this game. Just by playing, man. Don't, don't go out and buy stuff that you don't need to buy, especially if you're not playing the game that much. Play the game a lot. You'll get your crypto keys. I pretty much, by the end of this supply drop, got almost every single gun in the game. And I still got like 7,000 crypto keys you'll see by the end of this. I just picked up my fourth, or fifth weapon actually, because I got the Raven's Eye and I got the Carver right there. So now we're going to get some actual guns for the rest of this supply drop video, which is pretty nice. I'm going to get another gun that I was really looking forward to getting. And I was happy to get it right here. And there it is right there, the Olympia. Because that shotgun is nasty in this game. And I'm going to have a lot of fun using that game. On like maps like Exodus, maybe Combine, those small maps. I'm definitely going to go out and rip people up with that gun. And they're going to be pissed just like I've been pissed when I've been going up against that gun. Because it's a one-shot kill gun. Even the Brecci doesn't stand a chance to that gun. If they're staring down at you, you are done. So I'm pretty happy to have that gun. It's just going to be like a fun gun to play with. It's something different, something I don't use a lot. You guys that watch my gameplays know that I'm not really much for using shotguns and if I do use a shotgun it's pretty much always going to be the brecci. So there I go right there. I got the iron gem. Now I got another shotty to use. So I'm going to start getting some gameplays with that hopefully. As long as it's not too frustrating to use. I think it will be fun though. I've picked it up a couple of times and did some work with it. So now that I have it in my hands and I'll get to throw my attachments on it that I want to throw on. Which I'm not exactly sure what they are yet because I haven't had enough time to use it. I'll figure it out and I'll get some good gameplays with that gun for sure. So now we're just kind of going through the rest of the supply drop videos. I still got three more guns to get by the end of this. And they're pretty decent. And there's the first one. I got the Banshee right there. The Banshee is not really something I was looking to get, to tell you the truth. I'm never going to use the Banshee ever. I don't really, even when I picked it up, when it first came out, I started to pick up and try to use it. I just don't like the mechanics of a gun that fires and takes like a little bit of a delay to hit people. There's a lot of luck involved with guns like that, and I'm just not into using guns that, that take luck. I like guns that take skill, that are reliable, that you kind of can count on, you know what I mean? Like a gun that shoots immediately down sight, you can count on. A gun like the nail gun, you really can't count on guns like that because it just takes a little bit of extra time to hit your target. And moving targets seem to become a real problem. With the Banshee, I'm sure a moving target's almost impossible to hit. Any time I know the other team is using a Banshee, I'm like, yes. He might get me once or twice, luckily, but I am going to rack up kills on that person. So I am not going to be that guy using the Banshee, that's for sure letting the other teams rack up kills on me i'm sure if i got used to it i could put in work with it but i'm not even trying to put in time with it like that so here's going to be my second to last weapon that i'm going to get in this supply drop video and that's the vm mvp not the vmp the vmp is free thank god because that's like the best gun in the game so the mvp another Another melee weapon, I'm never going to use that too, but that's alright. Now we're just going to go through a couple of supply drops. I've been doing the rare supply drops. I never did any commons. The only common I did was that little bundle. I guess I paid 45 and got 6 packages. Everybody likes a good deal, so I took a deal. And I guess you could do those once a day, which I haven't been doing. So maybe every day I'll just do one or two and just kind of add them up. Maybe make another video for you guys. But when I get my Grand Slam, I'm definitely going to be doing another huge video for you guys. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys how many crypto keys I used. Ends up being about 3,000, but I get about 500 back. So you'll notice that you do get crypto keys back. Everybody knows this every time you open up. A rare package that's another benefit of not open up the common ones because you don't really get much back from the common ones the rare ones you get some stuff back so you're going to see at the end of this video i am going to get another one of the what people have been saying to be one of the better guns in this game so stay tuned towards the end of this video if you want to see that i'm not going to continue the commentary i'm just going to kind of leave it to go towards the end so you guys can feel free to stop it there or just enjoy the rest of the video enjoy these openings of all these supply drops 
half this stuff I don't even know what it is more than half this stuff I probably already have because I got so much stuff and there's really no point of me going over this no one really wants any of this crap they just throw this crap in the game so that makes it harder for you to get weapons so you got to spend more money for you to actually get those weapons all I want is the weapons I just want to fill up my arsenal I've been level a thousand forever I'm 13 from the world I really should have every gun in this game you would think I'm not spending a dollar. I will tell you guys that. So stay tuned to then. I hope you guys like this supply drop video. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to me at Champ Gaming. If you want to see more supply drop videos, leave a comment in the comment section below. And I will make sure I will do that next supply drop video and post it quickly. If not, I might just do it and get the guns and not post it. We'll see how this video does. But this has been Champ at Champ Gaming. Leave a like, subscribe, come see me. I'm going to show you guys the rest of the video, probably about three minutes left.